everyone present here. I present my warm welcome to Dr. Vivekanand Mohan Kuloli, sir. Sir is the founder and CEO Ayurpreneur Academy and Ayurpreneur Lifestyle Hub. Sir's empire started with a mission of enabling and empowering one lakh Ayurveda graduates to achieve and live entrepreneur lifestyle, to accomplish social and professional significance, financial abundance, and time freedom. Sir is the world's first and only Ayurpreneur transformation coach. Sir's philosophy is what I don't know that my students should know, and what I know my students should practice. With this brief introduction of Sir, I would like to request Sir to guide us more with his knowledge on entrepreneurship in Ayurveda. Thank you, Sir. Thank you, Madam. Thank you for uh, my wonderful introduction. Uh, good morning, all. All those uh, future doctors are sitting there. I could see them. Good morning, all. There should be an energy. I am not seeing the energy on the faces of the, the upcoming doctors. Thumbs up, thumbs up. All of you say, show your thumbs up. Yeah, very good, very good, very good. Yes, yes. I, I congratulate you for getting into BMS and Ayurveda. That's, of course, the wonderful science. You people are blessed. Okay, you people are blessed to be in this uh, Ayurveda. And I'm thankful that I am, I thank the universe and uh, the management and the principal, sir, for giving me an opportunity to have a conversation with you and whatever little bit I know about Ayurveda and entrepreneurship, I would like to transform it to you people. Because that uh, the madam has already told my philosophy. My philosophy is that wherever where the Ayurveda students are there, I consider them as my next generation. And I feel that whatever I could not know that these the next generation should be knowing it so that you people should excel beyond us. You should grow. Always the next generation should live a very abundant lifestyle. Okay. So for with that reason, I started my mission. So let me share my screen. Okay. Let me share my screen. Uh, I request the host to permit me to share my screen. Yes, thank you. I hope my uh, screen is visible to all of you. So I request uh, someone should be there at the other end to confirm me because we are dependent on the third source that is the digital or the what you call the internet and we do, and uh, unless there is a blessings of the universe we cannot uh, what you call uh, <coughs> accomplishing our work. So can anybody confirm me that my slide is very much visible for you people. I hope, I believe uh, it's visible. Okay, let me speak about something which is uh, usually not spoken in the Ayurveda field. Okay? The entrepreneurship itself happens to be a, what you call a fascinating word, word or a strangest word for the medical fraternity rather. Because medical fraternity always has been brought up and taught as if uh, you are going to do a service which is a noble service and uh, uh, it's like an, uh, what you call it, you are not, it's, it's a, a routine business. Business will be a very, very wrong word to be used, but because it is called a noble service. So because of that, we tend to limit our mindset to be only a clinician. There's nothing wrong in to be a clinician, but still, as the time has changed, we need to think about something differently. That is what the entrepreneurship. So that's why the NCSM has also put in your curriculum that uh, there, what about the entrepreneurship in the Ayurveda? Okay. So I welcome you to this my academy and uh, the academy is meant for creating an Ayurveda universe. Okay. 
and at the same time I congratulate all of you, all of you who are sitting there because you have got brain in your head, a wonderful equipment which has been given to us by the universe, we have got feet in our shoes and we have got steering in our hand which you can drive yourself and you can choose what you want in this abundant world universe. Okay. For that I congratulate you because you are human being, only human beings can think, only human beings can plan, only human beings can decide their goals. None other than human beings on this earth or the other lives are not having this whatever gift from the God or the universe whatever it may call. So I, for that I congratulate you. But at the same time I, am, I have got a fear. You may also get into conformity if you do not think differently. Because many of the Ayurveda graduates all over the world, I don't know what is the statistics of your alumni of your college, but all over India, whatever the BAM students are coming out, 70 percent, not even 70, more than 70 percent rather, they go for an allopathic general practice. And that is called as conformity. It's a conformity. Conformity means you are following a mass. You are following mass. So that is my fear that you may also, what, uh, you need not to turn out to be one of them because let me ask you four questions, okay. I know you cannot answer, you don't have a mic there but at least you, re you introspect yourself. I believe, I hope that my English is a follow, means you can follow my English. So let me check your congruence check, let me make a congruence check, congruence check. Congruence check means you, whether you have got the compatibility with Ayurveda or not, whether your mind has wanted to be in Ayurveda or not. So let me ask you first question, how many of, I can see you people, okay, if you resonate with this question, you can raise your hand and you be honest, okay, don't hesitate to answer these questions because these questions are very much important. So question number one is, how many of you have joined BMS as a second option? Any, anybody is there? Yes, very good, very good. I appreciate the honesty and I could see that majority of you people have come because you didn't get in the MBBS. What about the girl side? Yes, of course, girl side also the same thing is there. Yeah. Then let me ask you another question. Why you could not get into MBBS? Maybe because you could not make a good number of marks, unfortunately, or even you had a good number of marks, but you could not afford it. Because I made a survey and more than 70 percent of the, the students who are coming for BMS, they are the children of either a government employee or a school teacher and majority of the, the school teachers are sending their children to the BMS. So there is an affordability problem is there. Okay, how many of you are the school teacher children? Can you raise your hands? Whose parents are school teachers, primary or secondary or even college lecturers? Girl side, okay, no teacher, no parents are, and boy side, anybody? Yes, school teachers are there, okay, okay. Okay, and let me come to the question number three. How many of you think that you are here only to have a degree, a, a degree, medical degree, so that you can practice allopathy medicine? How many of you are there? Be honest. How many of you are there? You came with this mindset that I want to have a degree, that's all, and afterwards I'll go. My doctor, my father is a doctor or my parents are doctors or my, uh, my, 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 I can practice allopathy. Yes, many of them, many of them and I appreciate the honesty of the students. Okay, and the question number four is that how many of you have not started thinking that what is your clear goal about your profession and career? And how many of you have got goal? You have got fixed goal now? You have got, uh, you have started thinking that I want to be this after five years or ten years? How many of you? Do you have any perfect goal now? Decide it. Yes, I, I congratulate you people who are, who have fixed up their goal. But at the same time, I congratulate those people more who are not still fixed because my webinar will be giving you a goal for your career and I assure you that. Because I, I went through all these things, why I, I could resonate with all the pain and this one is, uh, they see usually there will not be, when their congruence is not there because we come. If we, when we do not get the MBBS, that is why we are into BMS, we do not have clear idea and we do not have congruence in the Ayurveda and because of that we do not have the clarity of the Ayurveda concepts. We will not learn, we will not focus in BMS and because of that 
we get into confusion, no confidence, no courage, and because of that, too, we go into conformity. But that is my concern. You need to fix up your goal that you want to be an Ayurveda doctor and you want to use Ayurveda. Okay. Otherwise, what you'll feel? You have got, you'll feel, you'll, you'll, you'll have this particular see how beautiful it is. If you do not believe in the Ayurveda, if you do not believe in the principles of the Ayurveda, if you do not have congruence in the Ayurveda, what happens? You will feel this particular situation in your life, throughout your life, professional career. I struggle to achieve my ambition and of love and affection, but I trap like a flies in a stick, sticky sack. Now where to go? Neither forward nor backward. Not knowing the way, confused, lost, tired, depressed and angry. My heart feels so low, stifled, silent cry in my heart. This happens with many of them. Okay, I, I, I feel that the teachers who are here, one other day they must have felt this one. One other day they have felt this one. Okay. Because, see, why I could resonate this one is because I am one among you and maybe a few steps ahead of you, but I went through all those things. Because even I was not knowing what to do with myself, what I need to accomplish. I was having an external struggle and internal struggle. And external struggle was a shadow profession. Shadow professional in behavior, <coughs> in front of the parental society. Because parents society, they regard us as doctors. And unfortunately, if we are not focused, we are not comp competent enough, we always make a shadow presentation. Shadow presentation means, jo hum nahi hai, hum wo karna, hum wo present karenge. That is shadow profession. Okay. So I request uh, Dr. Prashant Singh sir to kindly mute yourself. So that, Prashant Singh sir, kindly mute yourself. Okay. And uh, there is an internal fear that is no congruence no confidence to practice Ayurveda as my internal struggle. Okay, So I went through this one. So because of that, I wanted to quit this job, profession, at my internship. And when I was feeling the, the guilt, okay, I was not knowing much of the things. So I wanted to quit this, but uh, thanks to my teacher, and even I failed in BMS, okay, final year, because of lack of focus. Because it's not because I was not intelligent. It's not because that I could, could not pass. I failed because only because of lack of focus. So my mentor, Dr. A.S. Ankal sir, gave, gave me some golden nuggets of Ayurveda, secrets of Ayurveda. Because of that, I could continue in the profession now. And even my another PG guru, that is Prasanna Narsi Rao, he is my mentor who has taught me leadership qualities and to think about the next generation. Okay. So because of that, I could accomplish all these things. I could found founded. I, I could found this Ayurveda Academy, Ayurveda Lifestyle Hub. I created the Ayurveda business model, Ayurveda business mastery, Ayurveda business empire and I became the world's first and the only Ayurveda transformation coach and 21 plus years of my academic and clinical experience is there, authored 5 books, 15 plus research projects I did, 35 research articles I have published and 10,000 plus medical cases I have treated by Ayurveda medicine and 5,000 plus surgeries I did and uh, more important for me, why I am here is uh, I could spend more than 60,000 hours uh, with my students and uh, because that I could understand what is the frustration and uh, what is the future. So I could understand that seven blocks are there which are blocking us to become an Ayurveda expert or think about the Ayurveda entrepreneurship. That is uh, no congruence as I told you because uh, see now you are in M BMS, you are into this now, forget the MBBS now. This you can do for me. Okay, kindly do this one for me that you promise today yourself that you don't repent or you don't feel guilt, okay, for being, okay, for being in the BMS or not getting into MPMS. Now you are married to BMS. May I request Dr. Prashant Singh sir to kindly mute the, this one because I am having much of lot of disturbance here. And, uh, Prashant Singh sir, if Prashant sir himself is a host, kindly request, I request Prashant Singh sir to mute yourself. Okay, anyway, I think uh, he is uh, not in the meeting, but uh, still is, uh, this one is on. Anyway, no worries. Uh, let I hope my uh, my audio is at least clear for all of you. If it is clear, kindly thumbs up. 
my audio is clear my video is clear yes thank you thank you so the seven blocks i could identify for the bms students see why i am telling all of this thing is i need to speak about the entrepreneurship but the basic thing what is lacking in ayurveda students is the mindset and i want to change your mindset i want to reprogram your mindset for that i am speaking all this things because unless you know the root cause root problem why you are not succeeding as an ayurveda expert or an ayurveda entrepreneur you cannot solve that problem you cannot correct that you cannot fix it up for that we need to understand what are the problem with us and the problem with us is we are having no congruence so come out of that once you forget the bmbbs and now you are very much passionate about ayurveda you will have congruence if you do not if you do not do that you will continue with the lack of clarity you won't get clarity in the concepts of the ayurveda because that you will get into confusion once you get in confusion what happens you will get the conformity what i was speaking about on my second slide so you'll follow your seniors you'll follow other people who are doing general practice allopathy practice around the clock 24 7 no time freedom of course they may earn money paise kamaye honge but unko freedom mila hai kya you ask them whether they have got a freedom unko jo time freedom mila hai kya wo jo chahte kab chahte kuch karna chahte hai to ja ke kar sakte hai kya it's not possible for them who are in general practice because they have to sit there because there are so many people are there if he closes his clinic for half and half a day he will lose a patient he fear that he will lose a patient so that conformity you will also go into and that lead to lack of competence and lack of confidence no courage and because of that you will get into the mediocre shadow bms career okay mediocre shadow bms career because of no conviction in the ayurveda no clinical set skill set you will achieve and monetization to aapko dimag mein aayega nahi aur kya hoga baaki aage ka to sochenge nahi marketing tool set no you don't think about the marketing tool set okay and this will make you to limit yourself you will start you start to self doubting you will start self doubting yourself because then you will feel that if you if you right from the day one if you do not learn ayurveda as the the only way you want to survive you will get into imposter syndrome imposter syndrome means what i am not perfect i don't have much in classical knowledge of ayurveda the second biggest self limiting uh, belief is i don't have the required clinical exposure to use ayurveda third is i don't have enough money and time to invest in ayurveda career because see as i told you many of you may come must have come from a middle class family and once you come complete your bms you want to earn you want to earn immediately for that you need to look for either a job in a medical in a, in a, in a uh, modern uh, what you call hospitals or you need to start your general practice with an allopathy medicine because it is easy way to make money immediately symptom treatment you can you can remember the names of the drugs and uh, one antibiotic one analgesic one anti acid one anti histamines that's all so that is an easy way in the initial phase because of lack of uh, finance and because of once you trap into that you will continue okay you will continue in the same to the life okay and uh, fourth is uh, the i am not confident enough to sell the ayurveda what you call products and services so these are the self limiting beliefs they are not true they are our own self limiting beliefs because day one we have started that we we are not in love with ayurveda we are not passionate about ayurveda or we didn't, didn't believe in ayurveda okay so because of the, what happens you will lose the significance social significance professional significance you won't get that significance what you need you are de- what you deserve to get you will have professional legal insecurity financial scarcity and no time freedom as i told and always you will be in a confusion and always suffer the uncertainty in the with the, at, with the crossroads at every stage of your life because the fact is conformity kills the creativity once you stick to the mainstream which is not in a proper way or proper way this one maybe because of several other reasons as i told one is financial reason and the, whole, the so social conditions economical conditions location where you are starting your practice lot of things are there okay so what happens you will lose the creativity and that's lead to a mediocre mindset 
Okay, you will not have if you don't have goal, if you do not set up your goal today, if you don't focus on the proper learning, if you don't have clarity what you are supposed to do in the life, if you don't have purpose, because purpose is bigger than a goal. Purpose is to help others, add value to others. Okay, so if you don't have this, you will get into conformity, and that leads to mediocre lifestyle and mindset. And uh, this casualness, if you go with the casualness. You lead to casualty. So why should we try to be an Ayurveda? Because of this, I, we don't want to step, say, have any casualty in our life. Because Ayurveda says that you need to be, you need to have three ashana: pranayana, dhanayana, and parlokayana. Pranayana is survival. You need to survive first, physically, mentally. You should be fit. You should maintain your health. Then dhanayana, that is, you need to earn. To support your family, to support your dependents, then parlocation, then do something for others. For me, parlocation is not after death. No, parlocation is here only. During when you are live, like living, then only you should add value to others. Then you become significant. So Western world all speaks this. All the Western, all the motivation gurus are there, business coaches are there, billionaires are there, millionaires are there. They believe in this concept that. You, the human being, has to raise above the survival state to success and significance. The survival can be even animals are surviving. उसके लिए बड़ा कुछ करने का जरूरत नहीं है. You will survive. Okay, but you need to be success, and from there you need to significant. Last stage is significance. You need to become significant so that you can be irreplaceable, and you'll be adding value to others' life. You'll be contributing to this world. You need to, okay. So that is our goal. We need to be significant. So what are the benefits of becoming significant? So that you can achieve, accomplish seven what you call accomplishments: health, wealth, family and relationship, hobbies. You can enjoy. You can go by your passions. You can travel all the world because you'll be having time freedom. You'll be having a lot of money, and the ultimate is spirituality. You should attain spirituality also. Okay. Let me simplify it. As for me, I have made it five F's. Five F's is if you have got a passion towards Ayurveda and to make something for you want to set a legacy for your next generation. If you have got knowledge of Ayurveda, if you have got skill according to that, and uh, if you have got uniqueness in you, you can stand out of the competition. Then you can have this five F: fitness, that is self help, freedom of time as well as finance, fame, that is social significance and professional significance. Fortune, that is abundance. हमें कम में मात्रा में नहीं चाहिए, but the universe should bless us with a lot of abundance and family, so that we can set a legacy for our future generation. Okay? For that, what you need to do? See, and on an average, we are investing 25 years of our age in learning in India. So, आप B.A. में से जब कसम करेंगे, you'll be at 24 almost, 24, 25. And if you go for post graduation, another three years, 28. Then you come into the field, and then you'll take a time to settle and establish yourself. It will take another five years. So by 35, you'll make in your establishment, and the average lifespan is 60 years, 65 years average lifespan. I don't know how many of you know this. Don't think that we'll be living 100 years. Of course, if we think, I'll speak about that. If you think and you want, you are going to live hundred years with an intense feeling. You will live hundred years, but on an average, we are living sixty-five years. And out of sixty-five, last ten years, you leave it for the all the other ele uh, elements and physical debility. So you have got fifty-five. Out of fifty-five, thirty-five has gone. You have got only twenty years. And in twenty years, whether you can become millionaire or a billionaire, can you become a millionaire or a billionaire in twenty years? Yeah. Of course, you can become. But if you go with the same orthodox way. Having a clinic or setting your hospital and going, you may make money, you may become wealthy, but you cannot become rich. कितने लोगों को मालूम है rich और wealth में wealthy में difference क्या है? Rich means he will have finance as well as time freedom. Wealthy is he will have finance, but he doesn't have time freedom. तो हमें rich बनना है, and that too with a very shortest period. That is possible only with the entrepreneurship. 
the exponential growth is only possible by entrepreneurship because Zig Ziglar says that, okay, Zig Ziglar says that you need to, okay, you need to be unique. If you have got unique, I, this one, oh, let me come back. You all the way to top. Entrepreneurship is the only thing which will take you all the way to top. Okay. And entrepreneurship in the health sector is the future. Believe me. Health sector, in the health sector, entrepreneurship is the only way. Okay, it is the future. It is the future of uh, what you call the world. For that, you need to become an entrepreneur. If you want to have exponential growth, you want to become rich very early and by that you want to, at the same time, you want to contribute to the other's life, be an entrepreneur. Try to think, think about the entrepreneur, becoming an entrepreneur. Okay? So, it is the future. Then who is the entrepreneur? As per the Google or the other, this one, business world, the entrepreneur is the one who finds an opportunity to serve people in some way with the product or service. Okay? that they want, that they want, okay, that they want, okay, and he has an unique idea, has a greater purpose to add value to others life and a greater product or service to solve a unique problem, he will be called an entrepreneur, and who takes a calculated risk even being innovative in his venture, so he is having a purpose, he has got an idea, he has got a product or service, a greater product or service which can solve a greater problem, at the same time, he is taking a risk. He is an entrepreneur. And congratulations to all of you. You all are already on the way of becoming an entrepreneur. Okay, congratulate yourself. Pat yourself. Because you are already on the way of becoming an entrepreneur. Why? 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 Okay. This is because you... What an entrepreneur should have? A unique idea. And Ayurveda, if you start reading Ayurveda, you will come across infinite number of unique ideas so that you can start your own entrepreneurship. Okay? So, uh, you need to break your head. If you read Ayurveda, if you read classics, you will come across a n number of ideas which you can convert into an entrepreneurship, an entrepreneur product, a service. And your purpose, because you are going to add value to others by giving help. Okay. And you have got the both thing. You have got product also and service also. Because you can make you can make your own medicine or you can make your own device using either the principle. And at the same time, you will be helping the people with your health services. So, you have got both of them. You have got an advantage with the, compared to other entrepreneurs of the other field. And best thing is... You need not to take any risk because already it has been successfully presented in the classics. Mantra sam pravaktavyam na mimamsa padachanaha. Okay, phala will be achieved. Okay, the fruits will be seen. You need not to think about the, this one, whatever the treatment has been given in the classics. You need to only use it as it is. This is the greatest advantage to what we are having. Okay. And understanding this one, I could make it, I made an Ayurpreneur word, Ayurveda and entrepreneurship, Ayurpreneur. And I founded Ayurpreneur Lifestyle Hub for the community of my Ayurveda professionals. Okay. Now, you may ask, Sir, you have done this somewhere, you have founded Ayurpreneur Academy, found kiya, or, but still you are working as a professor. Yes, I am working as a professor, but... What made me to qualify this particular for this talk is I am the world's first and the only airport transformation coach. You can Google. You Google, you will find my profile. Okay? And I founded the Airport Academy. I have started my journey. Okay? I have founded the Airport Lifestyle Hub also. Thus, I am an entrepreneur. Because I have got a unique idea to help my Airport professionals to come out of their mediocre lifestyle and achieve abundant lifestyle at the same time being significant. I have got a unique idea, a greater purpose, okay, under product and services. That's why I am an entrepreneur, okay. My purpose is to elevate the self-confidence, self-respect and professional significance of all my fellow Ayurveda professionals. That's why I started my Ayurveda journey way back in 2019, once the COVID has stuck. 
Okay, I went, I read many of the books, I went through many mentorship programs and I tried to find out what I can use or how can I help my value as a professional. Okay. As my philosophy was always lingering in my mind that what I don't know, what because that I could, I could not achieve what I should have been achieving in my life, that my students should not suffer like that and I should give it to them. So whatever is external, outside this Ayurveda community, what is making a lot of money, I want to bring it to Ayurveda people. Okay. So I made a mission, mission I, I, I come, came up with this mission statement. Hi, I am Dr. Vivekan Mohan Kuroli, founder of Ayurveda Academy, Ayurveda Lifestyle Hub. And I am on a mission to help 100,000 Ayurveda professionals to live entrepreneur lifestyle with Ayurveda to accomplish a social and professional significance, financial abundance, time freedom, okay, using my Ayurveda business model and Ayurveda business cost. And I found that why our Ayurveda people are failing is this system is not there. Of course, the institutional system is there, but unfortunately, our BMS students do not understand that. What you need to be successful? in the entrepreneurship or in the life is, you need a mentor. You are having teachers, you are lucky, you people are lucky, your good teachers are there. But unfortunately, what happens to BMS students, they do not value their teachers in their institution. Okay? And they don't say, be, be, get into a system. There is no, there is a system, of course, the curriculum is there, BMS first year, second year, third year, fourth year, whatever, all these things are there. But that system is not being used to build their own what to call the competence. So I made an IIPRO success significance triangle through which I want to help all the IIPRO students so that they can become a good successful entrepreneurs. I want to behave as a mentor like A for advice. This is a mnemonics what I made after. In Ayurveda, mentor is called as after. This has been taught 5,000 years back. This has been given importance that mentor should be there in your life. Your teachers are there. Okay, so the the after should be advisory, appreciating, penalize when you do wrong things, and transform your life, and he should be accountable for all your success and failure. And I made a community with the C C six Cs that uh, there should be conviction in Ayurveda, there should be clarity, competency, confidence, consistency, and collaboration. Unless we do not collaborate, we won't we won't excel. Sabkasa sabkaitas, and you should have a system. Now you are, you are into system now, you are in BMS first year, you have got certain subjects, you read them, you, you, then you use the, the next year and next year they are connected, interconnected, don't leave that once the exam is over, everybody will forget the first year and then they think in second year. And because of that the broken chain is there, because of that the system is not working. You need to keep that chain intact, for that you need to become specific. So. Why I have been called as an entrepreneur? As I told, my, I have got a purpose, I have got an idea, idea and I have got these, or I have built a community of entrepreneurs and I have got the product to offer, that is the coaching with entrepreneur success blueprint, entrepreneur business model, entrepreneur business mastery and the entrepreneur business empire. But why won't come? Because see, even I had these myths. Mere dimag may be ek dharna hai the, galat dharna hai. कि entrepreneurship जो है वो business class लोगों को ही करना है and the people should have that inclination towards business and then those people can be also so even I had these myths in my mind आपके कितने लोगों को है I believe that आपको भी एक कोई न कोई दिमाग में ऐसा रहेगा कि हम तो doctor बनने के लिए आए भाई थोड़ी entrepreneur बनने के लिए आए is it हम तो doctor बनने के लिए आए हम हम थोड़ी entrepreneur बनने के लिए of course doctor is an entrepreneur as I told you you have got a product so medicine, you are seeing the product, service, you are seeing the patient, you are diagnosing the patient and you are making a plan, treatment plan and then you are helping them. So you are already an entrepreneur. Okay. So the myth is that to be a successful entrepreneur, you need to invent something novel and groundbreaking. Always should be an innovative, because already in Ayurveda classics it has been given. So you take up that only. A lot of things are there which are there lying in the classics unused, unused. Okay, unused. You use them. You pick up one of them. It's a treasure. Mine is there. Golden gold mine is there. Diamond mine is there. Ayurveda is diamond mine. You take up one, pick up that and use it. 
ओके सो यू नीड नॉट बी नोवेल अफकोर्स आपको नया कुछ इन्वेंट करने का जरूरत नहीं यू नीड नॉट टू डू दैट यू गो टू द क्लासिक्स यू पिकअप फ्रॉम देयर यू यूज इट and give the reference that i have taken it from here no worries that is a gratitude you should show then also you will be an entrepreneur entrepreneurs are the second myth is entrepreneurs are born not made it's also wrong the whatever the multi millionaire entrepreneurs are successful entrepreneurs are there in the world now they are all from the lower mid lower economically lower class they were never the they, nobody was there in their family as an entrepreneur and they started as a job seekers job holders and then they become they were entrepreneurs then they become entrepreneurs now i am an entrepreneur entrepreneur and becoming an entrepreneur because i am adding value to my institution where i am working where i am doing my job that's why i am an entrepreneur i am adding value and now i am becoming an entrepreneur because i want to go out of this uh, this one uh, i want to reach out of this uh, institution i want to help the other people also that's why i am an entrepreneur so i am not a born entrepreneur my parents were te- government employees school teacher but i can be an bo- entrepreneur and you may have third i meet that 90 ab tak kaisa lag raha hai acha lag raha hai ya kya boring ho raha hai tak na itra sir hmm be honest be honest i want honest feedback Yes, yes, thank you, thank you so much. I because see, कभी कभी मैं बहुत blunt हो जाऊँगा क्योंकि जब तक मैं आपके दर्द, दुखती नस पे हाथ नहीं रखूँगा तो आप नहीं जाएँगे. Okay, so I, that's why I am little bit, I may appear little bit blunt. Okay, but don't mind. It is for your betterment only. कोई जो भी teacher अगर आपको डांट के बोलता है, that too he want to see you at the peak of the success. समझ में आपको? इसलिए आपको you need to accept those teachers who are putting all their efforts for you people okay and uh, kindly the host i request to permit me to share my ppt thank you okay thank you thank, thank, you. thank you thank you let me check it out okay still not enabled Yes, boys. Boys, boys should be like Mercury, twenty eighteen years, eh? Our young blood. हमें नया दुनिया बनाना है. Okay, I read the news. आई बिलीव दैट हम यहां तक थे ठीक है मिथ्स मिथ नंबर वन दैट टू बी सक्सेसफुल ऑन्टरप्रनर यू नीड टू बी इनोवेंट इनोवेटिव आयुर्वेद के लिए लागू नहीं होता है ऑलरेडी बहुत सारे हैं आयुर्वेद बुक्स में आप उसमें से एक अच्छा स्पेसिफिक ले लो एंड यूज इट आयुर्वेद हैज ब्लेस यू पीपल इफ यू डेव इन एमबीबीएस इन एमबीबीएस थिंक अभी उतना दूसरा देख लो इफ यू डेव इन सिटिंग इन एमबीबीएस कॉलेज यूल बी थिंकिंग इन ऑर्थोडॉक्स डॉक्टर इट बिकमिंग इन ऑर्थोडॉक्स डॉक्टर है ना संप्रदाय एक डॉक्टर होते हैं एम बी बी एस खत्म करते फिर एक पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन करना पड़ता है फिर सुपर स्पेशलाइजेशन करना पड़ता है पैंतीस तक पढ़ाई करते फिर आपका जिंदगी दस साल में खत्म हो जाता ओके यू पीपल आर लकी दैट यू आर इन आयुर्वेदा बिकॉज यू आर गॉट द ऑल द आइडियाज एंड ऑल द यूनिक आइडियाज एंड सोल्यूशन आर देयर इन द क्लासिक्स so you are lucky you are blessed we are blessed all are we are blessed okay so 95% i think second b ho gaya tha okay i was convincing that i am an entrepreneur and going turning out to be an entrepreneur difference malum hua hoga aapko entrepreneur your teachers are also entrepreneurs they are adding value to their institution they are entrepreneurs okay adding value to you people adding value to this institution adding value to the society by preparing good doctors like you and if they reach out of the institution they become entrepreneurs so i am entrepreneur as well as entrepreneur okay i am doing both of them so 95% of third myth is in the modern entrepreneurship 95% of the all the business they fail within 5 years okay 
it's not like that okay it's not like that the ayurveda is not going to fail you say when it is extend ex existing since 5000 years ago how can you say that it will fail it won't fail so be happy you are at a safe zone you can start your entrepreneurship today onwards from today only it starts your journey starts as an entrepreneur okay so another three biggest myths are there with an ayurveda and entrepreneurship now i spoke about the the myths in the last slide about the modern entrepreneurship now let me tell you about the ayurveda and entrepreneurship aapko bhi lagao na kya entrepreneurship baat kar raha hai ayurveda so myth number 1 is health and ayurveda do not have scope for entrepreneurship this is a myth the fact is health and fitness is the top niche top niche for the entrepreneurship among the top four biggest so problems that people are facing and they are ready to pay a lot of money followed by wealth relationship and career out of these four i health is the main so you are the health preneurs you are going to give health providing health so the myth you take it out that you cannot make an entrepreneurship okay myth number 2 is ayurveda or any medical services are not meant for business rather they are noble services they should not be commercialized kitne logo ko aise dimag mein how many of you have come with this particular learning in the school girls only girls can be eligible for me now i am able to see the girls sir girls how many of you believe that it has been taught to you or it has come to you you came with this mindset ki ayurveda cannot be commercialized or the medical science cannot be commercialized it should be a noble it should be only health a uh, noble health service oriented kitne logo ko lagta hai how many of you feel that kisi ko nahi lagta hai very good then you people are very uh, means such achhi baat hai you people are entrepreneurs now you are started thinking about on, as an entrepreneur i congratulate you for that okay you are able to follow my english my mera language samajh mein aa raha hai na aap logo ko okay beech beech mein main hindi ha meri hindi itni achhi nahi hai main south indian hu फिर भी मैं कोशिश कर रहा हूँ मेरी हिंदी डालने के बीच बीच में सो दैट आई वांट टू कैच द अटेंशन ऑफ द लास्ट पीपल हु आर स्लीपिंग देयर देखिए कोई स्लीप सो रहा है तो उनको जगाने के लिए थोड़ी कभी कभी अपना यूज लैंग्वेज यूज करना पड़ता है ओके सो द मिथ नंबर टू इज मेडिकल साइंसेस आर शुड नॉट बी कमर्स दे के नॉट बी मेड एज अंटरप्रिनर बिजनेस श्री शास्त्र इट सेल्फ आयुर्वेद इट सेल्फ दैट तदिदम शाश्वतम पुण्यम स्वर्गम यशम आयुषम वृत्तिकरम वृत्तिकरम आयुर्वेद वृत्तिकरम it is supposed to used as for making money it's a money machine you need to establish your money machine because prane abhyo hinantaram dhanam eva parveshta bhavati after praneshana dhaneshana is the most important thing if you do not have dhana you cannot survive okay arogya bhog dharma sadhani bhuto dhana prapancha if you have got, if you have got, if you have got health and everything but if you do not have money you cannot enjoy you cannot see unfortunate thing in the world is whatever universe has given which has which are invaluable but they are free and whatever the human being has created which are give, going to which are giving us all the comfort and luxury they are all costly for that we should make money we need money and a shastra also says the same thing and myth number 3 is to be an entrepreneur always it requires a physical product aisa kuch nahi hai even by coaching you can make money okay let i want to bring your attention here dekho the non medicals are making lot of money the wonderful lady you are seeing there i appreciate her she is a geeta mckelenini she is a founder of a queen health club and she branded herself positioned herself as menopause coach aur aapko pata hai what is surprising thing she is not a medico she is not any doctor neither allopathy nor ayurveda nor ayurveda nor homeopathy nor unani nor naturopathy nothing she is an a chartered accountant she works in a bank bank private bank and she make recording in progress she became okay she became the menopause coach and she has made 75 lakhs rupees in 10 months how many of the ayurveda doctors are making like who are in general practice 75 lakhs rupees in 10 months that too with her time freedom okay 
another this spectacle person he he is an engineer by profession he did msc psychology okay phd in psychology that's why he call himself as a doctor because the doctorate is awarded to him phd and he positioned himself as a memory coach and in the last two years can you guess how much he has earned as a memory coach 10 crore rupees 10 crore rupees memory coach and ayurveda has given so much major rasayanas achar rasayana rasayana we are not using them another one fellow is here he is also engineer by profession engineer vp singh he positioned himself as a reverse spine coach engineer spine engineer and he is making lot of money he has learned he was engineer for the for 55 years okay he was engineer for 55 years and at the 55 at the age of 55 he joined in a diploma course for anatomy okay he learned anatomy in diploma course and then he learned marma chikitsa at haridwar and tendon breathing technique in haridwar okay and he has positioned himself as a spine reverse so we are we we are teaching chakra healing chakras you will come across once you go through this this course now in the first year itself i think you will be taught uh, the anatomy marma okay chakras okay but we are not using them we are only reading writing for exams and we are forgetting we are not using them to make money why this is happening for ayurveda students why are not making this opportunity why are we not making using of them because this is because of lack of awareness you are not thinking differently you have got attitude issue because you wanted to be in mbbs and unfortunately you are married to bms and you are not happy you are repenting because of that you will be staying there only so you are not enjoying here you are not making out of it you are not seeing the opportunities lying there that is attitude ignorance ignorance is the biggest crime what we are doing with ourselves okay and a low risk appetite okay low risk of that low risk of that is there okay and we are not because we are not branding ourselves as an ayurveda expert we are not branding ourselves as because that we are not able to make this particular opportunity okay for that we need to est est brand ourselves as ayurveda expert why we should do that because we need we are indians first and there is a in the branding and in marketing there is a law the law of borders for example in the ayurveda origin is in india so when you go when you present it as a yourself as ayurveda doctor to any other nations those people will perceive you as an expert of that ayurveda because it, you will be considered more authentic you will become you will be considered more genuine because it is a conception that is the perception in the brain of the people that the original where it from it where it origins that becomes a more authentic electronic goods are considered as more authentic if they come from japan cars are considered more best quality if they come from german isn't it in the same way make use of this you are in india born in india you are indians and you are using ayurveda you are reading ayurveda you are learning ayurveda and you will be brand ambassadors of ayurveda in other countries because global borders have diminished now by this uh, digital era digital era you can redefine your target you, re you can redefine your market you can reach any corner of the globe you can treat any patient from any corner of the globe for that you need to establish the another main reason why i i am more emphasizing to become an ayurveda expert is if you do not become an ayurveda expert if you go into a allopathic general practice cross practice rather you will be in the red ocean what do you mean red ocean in red ocean competition is more opportunities are less because you need to fight with the five big sharks the big sharks are there already in that red ocean the allopathy their own specialist super specialists are there their own specialists are there along with them our own ayurveda friends are there doing the same allopathy general practice and even homeopathy friends are there other professional other unani friends are there and above all this non medicals are there who are also doing the same who are also giving the same medicine what you are writing allopathic and either antibiotic or analgesic or whatever 
so you need to compete with these people so opportunities are less and competition is more that will put push you to professional insecurity social insignificance professional insignificance legal insecurity okay mediocre lifestyle okay and thanks to covid covid 19 how many of you believe that after covid 19 something has changed in the health sector as well as the in the other world two things have changed two things have changed over covid ke baad one is awareness about ayurveda has increased now you are it is easy for you people you people are blessed in being in this era and becoming an ayurveda people because the lot of noise is going about the ayurveda in the whole world and the, all the common public also coming to know about the ayurveda its values and its importance and they can easily accept you they will come to you and at the same time the revolution has taken place in digital area because that we, we are able to connect hai ki nahi because of this we are able to connect now you are sitting in the gorakhpur and i am in rajkot and we are sit, we are in conversing as if we are in front, sitting in front of each other and let us make use of this online consultations are coming up and if you are either expert and online consult if you club together you can reach anywhere and you can make lot of money see near to you people only haridwar patanjali ramdev baba is there he is a true entrepreneur he is earning 12000 crore a year his turnover is that using divya ayurveda pharmacy okay But see ayurveda is booming who says that ayurveda cannot make money ayurveda can help you to make money ayurveda big money money machine but unfortunately we could not explore it we could not use it we could not uh, convert it for money machine our knowledge we didn't convert it to make a money because of lack of that seven blocks what i told see there the prediction is that the ayurveda market size is going to grow 124.41% okay it is a cumulative annual growth rate by 2028 the market will be 16230 million do- us dollar okay which is 70, which was 7273.3 million us dollar in 21 the ayush ministry also has come up with a lot of innovative so that the ayurveda can be what to call the propagated to each and every corner of the globe they have come with the, the medical value travel programs okay heal in heal in india okay heal in india is the project has been taken by the ayush ministry okay so you can treat the outside patient also there is even the patient can be brought so ayush health hub ayush health hub has been developed no tourism ayush health tourism is coming up so people are supposed to be ready for that to to Uh, make get the you uh, make use of the opportunity okay so your digitalization has been known by the ayush ministry and they have come with an ayush grid ayush grid uh, which is a backbone uh, digital service it service has been started and even who world health organization is very much serious and even with 20 uh, summit 20 you must have observed the ayurveda is more uh, highlighted and the in gujarat india in the, the uh, itra okay Institute of Training for PG in Ayurveda that has been granted the it has been identified as the World Traditional Medicine Center. Okay, so the, this there are scope of Ayurveda is there lot of scope of Ayurveda. The the the, the lot of money is going to be flooded there and the it is going to be a billion dollar market in the very near future that is within two three years. Okay, so once you are completing BMS, you will be at the golden age of the ayurveda entrepreneurship phir bhi aapko lag raha hai if you still if you are skeptical this about these data let me help you out okay i found three strangest secrets of ayurveda to overcome this skepticism these seven blocks what were blocking us and making forcing us to live a bms shadow career why i call it a shadow career hum to bms degree lenge bms degree lete hain और हम क्या करते हैं एलोपैथिक मेडिसिन प्रैक्टिस करते हैं दैट इज अ शैडो करियर इट्स इज कॉल्ड अ शैडो करियर सो लेट मी हेल्प यू आउट दैट विथ आयुर्वेद सेल्फ आयुर्वेद हैज गिवन थ्री स्ट्रेंजर सीक्रेट 
Why call it strange and secret? They are strange, you know, because it has not been seen or uh, thought, even though they are virtually evident. I They are in the book, but unfortunately, we never use them in that way. That's why they are strange and secret because already they are there, but still they have not been explored. Okay, that is strange. Why the people have not explored them, or why we don't think in that way? So, the secret. What are the strange secret? Believe and succeed. Western world says that believe and succeed. We say that dive a past. Believe in the universal powers. Okay, that's it. Second is simply think. The Western world says that you should only think. If you do not think, you will become into conformity. If you think, you will become successful. So, that is Yukti Apashraya. And act with unconscious competence. Unconscious competence, that is Sattva Vajaya. So, Daiva Apashraya, Yukti Apashraya, Sattva Vajaya, these three things have been told in Ayurveda. And that is the, it is pack, packaged in the different words from the Western world, and they have become the biggest coaches of the world who are transforming the life of the others. And we are not using our own science, they are for our mindset programming. Okay? So, the secret number one, as I told you, believe and succeed, it is nothing but the law of attraction. Law of attraction, because what happens? Our actions are dependent upon our beliefs. Our actions are dependent upon our beliefs. Because beliefs are made in the subconscious mind, beliefs are generated in subconscious mind. Beliefs and subconscious mind. From there, all those beliefs, whatever we have, according to it, we make, we will value the things, and those values will generate the think, thoughts in the same way. What are our beliefs, what are our values? They become our thoughts, and those thoughts will have their own emotions, and those emotions will become our behavior, and that leads to the actions. So, if you do not believe in Ayurveda, Okay? If you do not believe in Ayurveda, you cannot value it, and when you cannot value it, you cannot think about it. How can you make use of it? You can, emotionally, you are not attached to that, and because of that, you don't behave as an expert of Ayurveda, and because of that, you don't, you are not getting Ayurveda results. You are not becoming an entrepreneur. You are not becoming a money-making entrepreneur. Okay. So, secret number two is think and focus to achieve your goal. It is yukti apasya, logical thinking. Okay. You need to think out of the box. Let me give you a roadmap. Look at that. I have, I have, I, there is a road map. Okay? You are now in the phase one. I believe that all our BMS first year students are there. Okay. Network issue is there. Ah, unstable network is there. Is now it is okay? Hello? Now is it okay? One to six, sir. One to six. One, 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 one two, three, five. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, five. Is it okay now? Yes, sir. आपकी आवाज़ आ रही है मुझे? वीडियो बंद करो क्या? थोड़ा अनस्टेबल है तो रहेगा. मेरी आवाज आ रहा है आपको? Yes sir. Okay. Is it okay now? Audible sir, audible. Yes sir. Thank you, thank you. So, BMS, you, mm -hmm. all of you are in the BMS first year. Today only you make a road map. Okay? To be a successful entrepreneur. Why I am calling entrepreneur? I, I started this word calling your call start from today onwards you start calling yourself as entrepreneur, not an entrepreneur doctor, entrepreneur. Because once you affirm it, when you when you make an impression on your subconscious mind, that becomes that belief that will become your belief, and that belief will make give you values, and you'll have emotion, then you'll have thoughts, and then you'll act accordingly. So phase one, be ambitious. Be ambitious Be ambitious and have a conviction in Ayurveda concept and learn them. Phase two, when you're in the second year, set your professional goal. After finalizing your niche, don't be general. You need to be specific. 
Ayurveda doctor, I can treat everything. No, don't be like that. Even with BMS degree, if you become, if you stick to only one expertise, like either I want to treat thyroid, I want to treat liver, I want to treat prostate, I want to treat kidneys, you be only stick to one thing. That is called as niche finalization. Why we fail? We want to look into everything and it's not possible. It's not possible for all of us to read all the diseases. Of course, for exams, you need to read. To clear the exams, to have this general knowledge, you need to read. But if you want to become successful in either practice, come, to, come with only one particular disease or the problem that you want to solve as an expert. For that, you need not to do MB, uh, medical uh, post-graduation. For that, you need not to make post-graduation. You can, if, from day today, if you start working, after next five years, you will be an expert. Because accordingly, you will be setting into the system and you will be reading the same thing. And of course, along with the other subjects. And in every subject, how those subjects are going to contribute to your particular that disease, how they can be helpful, how can they support your mission. Okay, finalize that goal. Phase number three, when you are in third year, final year, learn the required skill set for that niche what you have finalized. Of course, along with others. And fourth is, in internship, you may feel, no, no, I, I cannot go be so certain thing because we are human beings. We feel that to quit that particular mission, we are not supposed to quit because difficulties are not coming to obstruct us but to instruct us. Okay? So make a road map. Okay? So have a goal setting. Of course, this is for my academy I have made, the DYS goal setting formula. DYS means decide, U for yours, S for self or use Daiva Pashtraya knowledge. Yukti Apashya knowledge and Satavajaya to set your goal. Because you may plan, but uh, the universe may not agree. So you need to take the help of the universe also, that is Daiva. What your Daiva is telling you, what which in your Kundali, in your particular date of birth, what you are going to best. That is written there. You need to explore it. And apply the logical mind for your socio-economic conditions, what will be the best what are the daiva is giving, they will be giving two to three options. Out of two to three options, what your social conditions, your financial conditions, your economic conditions will help you or help you to support them your goal. And Satoja, what your heart is wishing, heart, the emotional mind, that is supposed to be taken care of when you are deciding your goal. Without emotion, nothing is happening. If you are connecting with me, then you have got an emotion towards learning new things. If you are not connecting with me, there, there, there is lack of emotion. That's why you are not connecting with me. Or I am not able to generate that emotion with you people. Okay? So this is what you should have. Now I am giving my plan to the Ayurveda ecosystem setup journey, what I have planned for my academy members. That is, within the next 10 years, they should be able to make 10 crore rupees recurring income annually. If they go through the process what the system is. And you people are very early. You are started now. You, if you, within five years, you can do it. Once your BMS final year completed, internship completed, you'll be able to earn. You plan like that. Don't think that, no, no, we'll think tomorrow, we'll think in final year, we'll think in internship, we'll think in PG. No. From this to only you fix up your monetary goal. What you want to, how much you want to earn. Okay? And this is possible. Okay? Because if you have got a system, I made an IFN flyer method, Okay, where you need to have competency in the concept mindset, there should be a clear mindset with the concept. If you develop a skill set, competent skill set, and if you know how to monetize it, and if you are relevant with the particular need of the society now, and you have got proper marketing tools, then you can enjoy the, your sales and the services like a festival, you will be making a lot of money. Okay. The secret number three is act with unconscious competence. Instill competence in your 80 billion neurons. Our body may 80 billion neurons are there, and those are the reason for our actions. And those 80 billion neurons are guided by our subconscious mind. That is Sattva Vajaya. You need to reprogram your mind. And you need to be unconscious competence. You should achieve Ayurveda in Ayurveda, unconscious competence. There are four types of competence are there. How many of you know that? There is unconscious incompetence is there. 
because now you are very fresh you don't know anything about the ayurveda you are unconscious you don't know ayurveda and you because you are incompetent but uh, once you start learning ayurveda you are consciously knowing that yes this is ayurveda this vata is this pitta is this kapha is this and but still you are not competent in the first year bms okay and in by five final year you may become conscious competence if you are very much focused and working you know that yes this is ayurveda and it acts like this and i am i am able to do this because knowing and you will think and act that is conscious competence you will think and act bike chalane se pehle bike jab when you are not knowing how to ride the bike you are unconscious and incompetent once you know that what are the parts of the bike how what is the gear what is the clutch what is the accelerator you are conscious but still you are not able to ride it it is incompetence conscious incompetence you started learning the bike and initial phase what happens you will think i have to apply the brake i have to raise this and somebody is coming in front of me i have to turn it you will start thinking and acting that is called as conscious competence but once you become perfect with that bike riding do you think ki kab brake marna hai kab ye karna hai it will be automatically going on our body will be automatically doing that you are not speaking on phone you will be riding the bike that is called as unconscious competence we need to achieve that unconscious competence okay okay so for to make to become unconscious competent what do you need to do you need to learn whatever you, need, you learn you adapt it learning means what the learning is is to how you identify the concept how do you understand the concept and then you should analyze those concepts and you should validate those concepts jo bhi aap sikhte ho usko understand karo analyze karo validate karo so that is a perfect learning learning that that doesn't mean that ratta mar le exam likh diya gaya no that's not learning you need to validate those concepts then adopt them whatever you learnt you adopt in your practice you put into day, your daily practice okay so that you will develop a skill so and keep your mindset open don't go with a particular uh, pre conceptual words uh, this one don't be prejudice be flexible and for third one then you become a, once you start implementing them after adopting okay repeatedly when you do okay when you and understand the results when they when you leverage those results a positive and make your results coming happening then you will become competent okay so now it is time to give away all your mediocre thinking abhi aapko bahar aana hai jo regular mindset se you are now supposed to be an entrepreneur and for that you need to think as if you already achieved it there is a technique in the neuro linguistic programming that is satva vijay ji kisa that if you want to be successful write down what you want to be write down because written goals are already always achieved write down what you want to be how much money you will be earning whatever you write in the present tense for example i am dr vivekan mohan kuloli i am i i am having 10 crore rupees in my account by 20, 10 10 2026 using my ayurveda knowledge and what you'll be doing when you earn 20 crore rupees you visualize that personality what you your, your own personality and try to act like that only that is called as act as if you already achieved that 10 crore rupees in your account now that is called different thinking that is called successful thinking if you do not think like that it is a mediocre thinking okay because the great news is that ayurveda advocates entrepreneurship Okay, I will advocate some of the things. Okay, so lot of opportunities are there. Then what are the opportunities? What are the opportunities? I made. I could identify seven streams of income making money machines in Ayurveda. Of course, these are nomenclatures. These designations it is from my academy. I myself have generated it. But uh, let us see the concepts. Okay, number one is Ayurveda integrity celebrity or the name I have given. You can. start become identify establish yourself your clinic or your hospital or your franchisee franchise think big always try, try to have a franchise of your own hospital with an integrative medicine concept integrate the different streams of medicine for one particular problem to so that you can give holistic treatment along with the help of the other integrate other experts of the other integrative medicines and by that you will be having chain you will have your group working for one particular bigger problem by that you can make money and everybody will be, everybody will be sharing that revenue and then you will be developing your own franchisee there is a franchisee called as ayurveda ayurveda 
ayurveda a y u r v v a i d v a i d ayurveda this is from bangalore based and those people are start have already established this integrative medicine practice they use ayurveda as physiotherapy okay for cancer patients and they have started franchise also they are giving their chains of hospitals ayurveda okay and they are making lot of money and the, the the owner is on the owner now number 2 is ayurveda star vaidya you are pure, if you are not able you are not happy to collaborate with other people you establish your as a star vaidya means ayurveda perfect vaidya so that you will be setting an ecosystem where you will be find, making your own sops and those sops can be given to your own hospital your subordinates and they will be working for you you can be free and say even then you will be making money because you are set an sop standard operative procedure a patient aaya to iska ek examination karna hai ye finding aaya to ye medicine dena hai ye finding aaya to ye treatment dena ye management karna hai is that is all standard prepared like that you can achieve that number 3 is ayurveda coach recorner now i would like to tell all the teachers who are sitting there they can make themselves they can establish themselves as ayurveda coach as i told you the menopause coach is there she is an accountant and our ayurveda gynec people or our ayurveda girls all female female graduates of ayurveda they are not anywhere there in the health fitness coaches psychology coaches life coaches menopause coach menarche coach dysmenorrhea coach you can be any coach okay then i will start a frat if you are not into clinical practice no sir i want to become a, a businessman and i to, to, totally i want to have on my own other setup then you can be you can start your own startup it can be it can be a medicine preparation it can be equipment preparation it can be other raw material supply whatever that is an opportunity is there you can have now the multiple apps are coming okay so that is the air protect genie if you are very much fascinated about the technology and you are very much savvy about the technology you can make use of that because a lot of air the doctors are wanting that digital services by in the world and it will be booming up and you people if you are interested to use that technology and you are very much passionate about using the technology you can help those doctors to set up their own digital services because you will be a good content writer you will be a good copywriter because you already know ayurveda so that those you will be paid more compared to when if they are going to pay others because they have to give this if i have to set up my website i have to give all my content because the 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 person who is are uh, preparing my website designing my website he is not an ayurvedic person he is not a medico i have to give all my content imagine if uh, our own bms friend is uh, technologically sound and he, he is designing websites and uh, he knows the ayurveda he can prepare himself the content he can do the copywriting and uh, he can reduce the burden of that service for me and then i will be happy to pay more to that my friend who will be designing my website so that is i protect genie so don't get this sort of the people who wanted to go for engineering but unfortunately they are here you are fortunate enough because you can make lot of money using ayurveda as well as technology that is ayurveda tech genie what i have given them name and ayurveda agri hulk if you have got lot of land sitting in your uh, what you call the your uh, ancestral land is there the your ecological conditions are good then grow the ayurvedic medicines supply it a big market is there p n ayurveda agri hulk and seventh one is no sir i don't have land i don't want to i don't have uh, means inclination towards startup i don't have technology knowledge i don't have the coaching also i, I cannot be ayurveda uh, vaidyas only or i cannot do the general practice in different but i am very much interested in research i am very much interested in writing the books i am very much interested, interested in uh, preparing the articles then your ayurveda author, author genius your ayurveda uh, azail author uh, i am going to agile that is you can queue you can write the clinical research projects you can take up the research projects from the pharmacy companies of the ayurveda you can conduct the trials of the clinical trials of that and you can prepare a report and you can give them by that you will be paid okay so these are seven other than that why i have not give considered here the job opportunities because i am i am advocating i am making for na freedom i am speaking here for freedom and once you get into job you will lose your freedom 
Okay? Of course, if you are passionate about the job, you can go there, no issues. The government jobs are there. You can be a chairperson for the other nations from the government of India. Okay? If there are CCRS is there, if you are, want to go for research and want to be job at job at the same time. Okay? A lot of jobs are there. Okay? In the private colleges are there. I recall. But my, as I am speaking, entrepreneurship is you need to be innovative, you need to be contributing to the whole world and you should be making a lot of money. That is possible. That's only by these seven particular streams. Okay? So, don't get into conformity. My last final message is that don't get into conformity. Fix your professional goal today and to be an IRL entrepreneur so that you can enjoy the life. Very soon you can be enjoying the whole world. Because that is the biggest difficulty for IRL entrepreneurship is not the lack of opportunities. It is rather it lack of entrepreneurial mindset and conviction in Ayurveda. That's why I spoke much about the mindset. That's a lack of that. Okay? Because you need to be entrepreneur. Business, of course, you can, if you start a clinic, it will be it will like a business. Because the set pattern is there. Set clinic, same, same medicines. You are going to try the same conditions and all things. So, if you go with the same orthodox clinic setup and uh, being there 24 into 7, last to next 40 years of life, uh, in the same clinic you are sitting there, going morning and morning, you are going there, sitting there, attending your patients, coming back at the end and again you are sleeping and again going back. This is a mechanical life. You live a mechanical life. So, don't be into business. Try to be an entrepreneur. So, that the entrepreneur will give you a privilege to set up your an ecosystem. Now, what do you mean ecosystem? Ecosystem is which will give you privilege, it will make you free at the front end. You will be working at the back end. Front end somebody will be working for you, system will be working for you, you will be getting a lot of money. Even when you are not working, you will be getting money in your this one. It is a passive income. Okay? If you want to enjoy passive income, you need to be an entrepreneur. Okay? So, how many of you want to grab this opportunity? How many of you want to become an entrepreneur now? Raise your hands because our person is calling. Okay, if you, it is left to you now, accept or de decline. So, if you want to accept, raise your hands and thumbs up that yes, sir, we want to be entrepreneurs. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes, we are going to be entrepreneurs and we will replace all those people who are making a lot of money, not being any medical, but still they are using IR principles and they are making a lot of money. And we want to be there. Everywhere I want to see, our I the students should be there as a coaches because we are the more deserving people because we are taught about the Swastarakshanam, Aturasya Vikara Prasharam. And even the memory, mind, culture, values, spirituality. Okay? So, Sharira, Manas, Atma and Indriya. For all that we have got treatment. Okay? Today only I was seeing in a newspaper, Sadhguru is going to run, run a, a program which is called Indian Programming, that is what Sattva Vajay is going to do. So, spirituality and mindset programming, they are booming. So, you can become that coach. So, I believe that all of you have got a lot of value from this one and I thank all of you for that attentive learning, listening and uh, if you have got any questions, I am happy to attend those questions. And if you want to follow me, kindly follow me on my Twitter handle that is Vivekanand Kul and uh, Instagram Vivekanand underscore Kulodi. I've got my Facebook Vivekanand Mohan Kulodi. I've got Facebook also Ayurkanal Academy and uh, I've got my own VIP Facebook group is there. If you, anybody is interested to join that, I'll share that link uh, with your teachers and they can circle to you. And uh, my WhatsApp number is double nine four five zero seven nine two seven six. If you want to have any clarity about your goals, your future goals and those things, you can connect with me on WhatsApp itself because it will not be possible for me to attend the calls. So, you can connect with me. Okay, and you can also mail me at vivekanandkuru at gmail.com if you got anything else because I got one template for a goal setting. So, if you wish, you can connect with me and I can share that template. You can fill it up so that I can give some clarity about your goals depending upon DYS goal setting formula. That is, I, I am a numerologist also. I know numerology also for, the, for your kind information. I am an Ayurveda doctor, Vaidya. I am a teacher, Ayurveda teacher. I am an Ayurveda surgeon. I am a numerologist. I am a neuro linguistic programming trainer. 
okay and i am an entrepreneur coach so i am using all that knowledge to help my students all my next generation or my colleagues also i am able to happy to say, 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 help my colleagues also all the teachers if they want to become i entrepreneur coach the coach reconors okay all these names i have given okay i want that all i want to help all of you okay to make you successful entrepreneurs so if you want to hear right you can mail me vivekanandkuru@gmail.com and uh, i will share you all my links okay even in whatsapp also i can share links so i'll be giving a, a book free book with e ebook if you correct with me that is how six steps of branding yourself as an ayurveda expert okay that i i'll be that will be a free gift from my side to this wonderful institution which is my own because i am the junior of dr manjana sir and i'm thankful to manjana sir and all the host people there okay so <clears throat> I, I am immensely grateful to all of them. They have given me an opportunity to interact with people. Now, if any questions are there, any doubts are anything, anything for that matter related to your either career, you can ask me. Okay, I am open for the discussion. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Thank you for your interesting words and innovative ideas. But my personal question is that, sir, now you gave on. Uh, thoughts of entrepreneurship in uh, ayurveda that is most interesting and the uh, newest thing in the ayurveda okay but to keep this thought burning till the last what to do <laughs> that's like, because that's some tough exams will come yeah, test yeah. will come will for i will yes sir involve in all that i i got it i got i got you i got you okay i and it's a great question actually and it's a more practical question i appreciate you doctor you are good name Mitesh, do it, sir. Ah, Mitesh, I appreciate you for this particular question. Okay, let me answer you. Sir, you can take sheet. Mm. See, <clears throat> this happens with everyone. Okay, why we why why it becomes problem for us is we always behave as a compartmental. Our behavior is compartmental behavior. For example, if you fix that today, if you fix that, sir, I want to be a marma therapist. Okay. Mitesh, if you fix that, sir, I want to work for therapist and I want to treat the patients of the frozen shoulder or the spine problems. Okay, now what you what we what our mind says that no no I have to focus only on this and because of that we start behaving only compartmental behavior and at the same time you need to attend all the academic assignments and all things and we think that they are different from this particular goal. It's not like that. They are not different from this particular goal. it is your intelligence how you will make use of all those other assignments for example if it padarth vidyana if you are reading what concept of what what technique of padarth vidyana will be helpful for me to understand marma in a better way okay what technique of uh, the ashtang hridaya where dinacharya is given rutucharya is given how they can help me to create, help my spine problem patients okay so if you think in that Combined way, holistic way. Okay, once you go into surgery, final year, huh? You should read what are the surgical conditions which will force us to go for surgery, and where we cannot, where where we can avoid surgery for such spine spine problems. If you come with that particular particular listing and tabling, okay, you can note down all those things. By that, you will be an expert. Rather, these all subjects are helping you to become an expert. They are not. Uh, obstructing you is how you take it's a, that's why i told you know it's our mindset it's our mindset how we take it if you read the subjects as a burden for the exams you won't enjoy them you don't remember them and you need to struggle a lot but if you emotionally connect with them and with this particular cause you know for all my spine problem pathologies i want to be a spine expert anatomy how i, I can how anatomy is going to help me how the physiology is going to help me Kriya is going to help me. How the uh, Rachna is going to help me. How Padatha they can be helping. How Ashtanga Rudra can be helping. Okay. And then second year when you come, how the Roga Nidana will be helping me. How the Charaka will be helping. How the uh, the what you call Sastrutta will be helping. How the Naturopathy will be helping for my patients. How the Physiotherapy can be helping more for my patients. Okay. When you come to the medicine, what are the medical conditions where these such spine problems are coming up? What are the surgical where the surgical surgical intervention is required? Okay. while what the neurological examination i need to do when you are in the nidana or in the medicine cases clinics clinics if you think in that way i think you will be happy and you will be cherishing every day learning okay mitesh 
Okay, this, in that way we need to think. Okay, Don't you. think differently. They are all integrated. They are integrated. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank yes. you for suggestion. Yes, yes, yes. Any other questions? I am okay with Hindi also. Hindi may be a question puch sakte. Language should not be barrier for us to connect. Yes. Okay, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, sir, one uh, of our teacher uh, told us about uh, some website, uh, CCRS. Hmm. And uh, usually I used to visit and I found that the, the Baxan Pharmacy and Cipla Pharmacy are going to create uh, medicines uh, of Ar Arveda medicine on a large scale. And yeah. we already know that uh, Cipla and Baxan Pharmacy are the socks uh, in allopathy uh, medicine. Yes. When they prepare the medicine, uh, say for example, uh, Lip 52 <coughs> or uh, any other medicine, then that medicine are going to be rocked. But in case of when uh, similar type of medicine prepared by Vednath or Dabur uh, company, then uh, they didn't is, uh, is excel on a large scale. What are their fault? Okay. Good, great question, great question. Very practical question. I appreciate uh, your good name, dear. Uh, Adars Patel. Yes, Adars. Okay. You are from Gujarat? Uh, no, sir. Uh, from Gorakhpur. Okay, no issues. Patels are more common in Gujarat, that's why I asked no, no worries. Okay, let me come to your first question. Your first question is that how we can survive in the competition, isn't it? When the already greater sharks are there, how we can survive if we, we also get into that medicine preparation, isn't it? It's the first question. Let me answer you. For everything there is a market. For everything there is a market. How you can compete with them is that extra care for the customers. Okay. When the big sharks, they grow bigger, they give less importance to their customers, okay? Because they feel, feel that they have reached that, uh, this one and they are personally, emotionally, they are not connected with the patients, customers, okay? But when you are at the basic level, you will be more connected to the customers. So, that is one thing that you can do is that have a, create a community. That is what I am telling, telling you, the community creation is very much important. You should have, you, you should have, you should have the community, what you call the creation. You should have your own club community formation. Once the patient comes to you, joins to you, he should feel that it is his own home. He should be given that hospitality, okay, that particular care, that particular attendance, the services. The service should be good. So that customer satisfaction, if the customers have got satisfaction, they will join you. See, a lot of five-star hotels are there, three-star hotels are there, and even, and even the uh, middle class hotels are there and even the roadside tapris are also there. Everybody they are making money. Everybody they are making money. But as per their approach and their per their per market. So you need to know which market you want to tap. Don't go with that uh, red sea ocean. Don't 50 to prepare your live 52. Okay. You prepare something else. Now you can come to with two things. One is the same classical medicines with more authentic and more what you call genuine without adulteration and with, with a very good quality you can prepare and by that you can establish you can position yourself as an, uh, what a, a good ma company so that you can beat that competition. Second is you can have your own patent drugs Anubhuta Yoga which you will be preparing. You will be preparing a pharmacy combination you will be making and you will be preparing your own medicine. And that is not available to those companies. Okay, they are not available to those companies. Uh, and for that, if you want to sell also, you can sell to them. You, if you don't, you feel that you cannot sustain the market for longer period, you want a lot of money, but you, cannot, you know that you cannot sustain that, you sell that formula to those bigger companies and make a lot of money. And you from, again prepare another medicine, another, other, another formulation, and you send it to another company, you make a lot of money. Okay. So, competition will be there. That is called as a law of a fellowship. Law of fellowship. Okay. So, uh, sir, in my opinion, uh, whatever I think that uh, uh, there is a medical college in Lucknow, Ankarat Medical College, which mm. prepare a medicine of stone known as the gravel, gravel mm. syrup. Okay. Uh, sim uh, similar type of medicine, uh, sir, prepared by many allopathic company. Mm. Uh, but that uh, uh, gravel medicine is usually prescribed by allopathic doctor on a large scale. Okay. But, uh, whereas the other medicine uh, doesn't prescribe by the allopathic doctor uh, on a bulk amount. Uh, okay. And sir, one thing is that uh, 
there is also medicine in uh, ayurveda known as the kant sudharak vati yes uh, which is uh, more uh, more than wheat uh, than the vix uh, but uh, people uh, don't uh, use and prescribe that yes uh, sir my view on uh, that point is that uh, uh, is there any uh, fault in the name uh, yes sir uh, we is very simple yes. uh, nomenclature uh, no yes other that is a very core, core point you are touching of course that is these all questions can be tackled in branding and marketing okay these questions are very specific questions and if you know the law of branding and laws of the marketing okay you can come out of these particular problems okay now you asked me why the allopathy doctors are also writing so that is the what you need to make an opportunity you should find out that two things are there in the to to become an entrepreneur and to become a successful what are the opportunities okay first thing and second is what are the category is mt that is called as law of leadership you identify where the allopathy people do not have medicine for example liver pathology they don't have much medicines okay for corona they didn't have much medicine for the what you call the as you told the allergic allergic pathology they don't have medicines for autoimmune disease they don't have much medicines of course medicines are there they are very much costly and they cannot be affordable but they are not also so much good result yielding so when even a many, many of the allopathic medicine they write nilsen capsule which is for allergic rhinitis leave 52 they write for liver pathology okay so you can identify either you identify those areas where there is a emptiness is there accordingly you prepare the medicine and you can sell it one thing second is once the market has been identified our demand is identified requirement is identified and if you got a product then it comes to what is the, what should be the product name and it should be catchy one word which can register in the brain of the mind of the people okay and wix is a it's a generic name now it has become generic name everybody call that is like gomia wix okay and kanta sudharaka is see it is a one is classical word it difficult to pronounce and remember by the many people because sanskrit has not been in the school teaching now and uh, second is our that is the wix is a counter selling drug whereas kanta sudharaka is a prescription based drug when you give prescription then only it will be given by the doctor uh, medical shop owner but wix can be given over the counter even allopathy medical shop also keep the wix even the wix is an ayurvedic product i don't know how, how many of you know that wix is an ayurvedic product but still it has been sell, sold by the allopathy doctors allopathy, so allopathy pharmacies and allopathy doctors also write those drugs only where they feel they are safer they are dealing with safer conditions which are not life threatening as adjuvant they may use our drug okay so name of course name is one thing brand that's why the brand it should be that's why now i am the brand ayurpreneur academy is the only brand which is ayurpreneur if you type in the google ayurpreneur if you type in google my profile my website will be appearing that's why i have become a leader of this category in the same way if you want to really come up with an a pharma medicine preparation okay you can have your own unique formula either from the classic or you make your own and give a good name and first before that you identify the market for that customers target market size of the market and you can have concept of proof proof of concept you can try it first with your own friends who are practicing give them ask them to try and give your feedback once you get that once you know that this can work then you can come with a very catchy magical name and register it and go boom you will be you will be successful okay thank you sir okay thank you. any other questions from girl side i didn't get any questions either you people are more learned than me or you don't you didn't get anything this from this particular webinar and by the way i would like to address my female uh, students are there do you know that girls happen to be more in number in a class now tell me uh, how many of you are there compared to boys in your class girls number 60 intake or 100 intake more than 56 so it is 100 intake na capacity is 100 
students? Hundred. So see, more than fifty percent people are there. Okay. And this is of course, but uh, in other core areas, if you see, more than sixty percent will be girls and that forty percent will be boys. Okay. And you people will be leading in the marks also. You will be toppers. Females will be toppers. As yes or no, all the girls will be always toppers. Yes. Most of the time, no. You you don't want to top. Girls don't want to top your uh, exams. Compared to boys, boys, what do people say? Girls will be usually topping the. Uh, they will be toppers in the university exams. Yes or not? Majority. If you take uh, 50 students, 50 female, 50 uh, boys, 50 student female will be get uh, scoring more number of marks out of the majority of them will be scoring more number of marks compared to boys. Yes or no? Don't don't come with this ego now. It's uh, what I have observed last 20 years. I am teaching. Okay, the girl, <laughs> girls usually they score, but unfortunately, if you look into the market, how many female or BMS girls they are practicing Ayurveda and they are making lot of money? No, you check out the statistics. 50% of them they find some other career, either homemaking. Or some other job. In rest of 50 percent, 30 percent will find the safe job, okay, safe job. It lies either teaching, or a medical officer, or a duty doctor. In rest of 20 percent, remaining 20 percent, in 10 percent, if their husband, spouse are medical field, they will practice with them, okay, either general practice or Ayurveda practice or some special practice. Or if the allopathy husband is there. They will be assisting him, okay. And rest of the ten percent, okay, they may come into other practice, pure other practice on their own. They will establish their own brand. So this is because there is uncertainties are there in their life, of course, because they cannot finalize their niche, their goal, and their professional goal, and because they feel that it will depend on their own spouse, because where they will be getting married and where they are going to stay, and accordingly they want to plan it. No, nothing like that. You don't do that. You people are the toppers. You people are the cream people of Ayurveda, and you people should come. And by using being an entrepreneur, you will have, you can balance your family as well as your career because it doesn't require much time. Weekly, if you are able to afford three days, each day two hours, you can make millions of rupees using Ayurveda. Okay, that's what I told. That Geeta Mekilani. Weekly two days she attends her patients, her community members. Okay, two hours each day, weekly two days, and she has she is making money. All of this, whatever in my community, members, all are my community members. Not my, Miss Ayurveda Academy, nahi. may or a community may mentorship. I am I have been mentored by some other community, and there all these people are there, and those people are using only weekly three days work, and uh, that to two hours per day. And they are lot of making lot of money. That too online from their home office. They don't have physical any uh, clinic. So don't you think that all our female who can who are having added added responsibility of taking care of the family at the same time the, 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 because of that they are not able to make a, their professional career. For people now the time is very a uh, golden age is there. All girls so come up with your own particular specific niche. And establish your brand yourself as that, and from today itself you start. You find your niche, you start keep on branding yourself as an expert of that. Don't think that no, I have still not completed the I know my, my BMS is not completed. Don't think like that. Start giving some informative all that in your social media platforms, in your Instagram, in your, in your Facebook, in your LinkedIn. Start posting whatever you understand, you post it. No worries. Nobody is perfect. Perfection ladder is always. Uh, not complete. For you, your seniors will be appearing perfect. For your seniors, their teachers will be appearing perfect. For uh, the teachers, their teachers will feel appear more perfect than them. And for those teachers, their teachers appear to be more perfect than them. So perfection ladder is never complete. So start from today, brand yourself, call yourself as entrepreneurs, and uh, let us make this uh, mission a movement so fast that. All of us will be enjoying an abundant lifestyle and we will be setting our own ecosystem. Okay? So, if any other questions are there, let me attend those questions. I will be happy to receive more questions because 
If you do not ask questions, I feel that my talks were not worthy. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, first Thank of all, I would like to uh, first of all, I will I would like to congratulate you for creating uh, Iopreneur Academy for the benefit of Ayurveda professionals. Thank you, madam. Thank you. And we have uh, very few people in the field of Ayurveda who guide uh, the Ayurveda graduates as uh, what to do and how to do. And today uh, we had an opportunity to interact with one among the very few and. Uh, I think from now onwards, our uh, BMS batch 2023 would like to call themselves the Ayurveda Ayur, uh, Ayur, Ayurpreneurs. Ayurpreneurs 2023. Yes. Okay. So, uh, so on behalf of Guru Goraksha Institute of Medical Sciences, I thank you, sir, for guiding and motivating our students and uh, for their better future. Thank you very much, sir. Thank and, you. Thank uh, you. I am also equally thankful to all of you for uh, hosting me and uh, for coordinating in, in such a wonderful way and uh, luckily by God's grace uh, the internet was uh, supporting all of us okay and I, I thank uh, uh, my beloved friend uh, Dr. Manjuna sir for giving me an opportunity to be among, amongst you and uh, give, uh, speak about something about my mission. My mission is to help all our other students and all our other teachers, private college teachers to make their own careers. And of course, I thank all my students, the lovely students who are uh, made their mind to be in the BMS and, uh, and these people will be creating the Ayurveda uh, universe. And I am thankful to them. And I thank the management as well as the, your university for giving uh, me an opportunity. And I thank uh, your registrar for sending me a wonderful invitation. And please convey my all the regards to all the lovely people there sitting there. Okay. And the people who could not attend, if they, if they see the watch recording, for them also I am spreading my love and uh, affection. Take care. Thank you, sir. Okay, bye. Bye, 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 bye guys. All the best for your future. Okay, God bless you. Bye-bye.